Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Well, today we're having the counterpart to the new Viaje Platino in Oro, and today we're going to look at the Oro. This is the Delicado, the 6x50 Toro. And just a couple weeks ago, we did the Platino uh, in the um, Shiva, the Robusto, 5x52. This is the Delicado 6x50. Also uh, comes in a Fuerza, which is a 5x52 Robusto, but smaller ring I thought might be better on this. I, 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 I it was a it was a guess. But it's all Nicaraguan. That's all we're gonna know about a Viaje cigar. There's the density. Has a decent feel in the hand. Looks nice. The counterpart to the Platino. Today we're gonna to look at the Viaje Oro Delicado. That sounded good, didn't it? That was a big one. All right, it's got a little firmness. Oh no, it's, I think it'll be just fine though. It's not bad. There's a little tanginess Attached to some cedar, some brown sugar, nutmeg, leather. Leather is really, really coming through. There's a little citrus peel there. And maybe a little light black coffee at the base. That's about how you start. I would say black pepper is about seven. About, you know, an average ish amount i'm getting leather and a lot of nutmeg coming through uh, shortly after the sweet notes of a sort of citrusy cedar a little citrus peel a little brown sugar but there's a a, a decent amount of those uh, other notes so we're going to see how that plays out but that is how you start First third, and the little sweetness of cedar and some citrus influence is almost an afterthought already. I've got citrus peel, a lot of earthy nutmeg, leather, and black coffee. Uh, the sweet notes have really taken a hit already. The finish is nutmeg and just a little hint of citrus. Good lingering black pepper. Medium bodied. But it's just the cigar has almost lost me already. Uh, I'm a little surprised. I remember the Oro last year being okay. This one is not okay. I'm starting it off at 86. Uh, we've got a lot of improvement to do to make it anything that I would ever want to have again. And I want you to understand there is very, very little sweetness in this cigar. Once you get to the first third, let's see what the second third has, but, uh, it needs to improve. Well, here 
we are at the end of the second third. And if you were waiting for me to come back and report major improvements, that won't be happening. There is a minor amount of sweetness, whatever can be considered sweetness in citrus peel. There is a ton of earthy nutmeg, leather, and black coffee. And now there is even some bitterness. Medium to full finishes nutmeg and leather. Good lingering black pepper. But uh, what a contrast in this cigar and the, the Platino. These come out at the same time, Oro and Platino. The Oro is the one that gets all the headlines. All the people out there grab those up so quick. I wonder how they feel about their decision right now. This, uh, this cigar is just nothing in it is appealing. Uh, it is just not at the level anywhere near what the Platino Robusto is. I'm rating the second, third, 82. It is losing me at a rapid rate. And to be honest with you, I thought about calling it in and saying, look, this is, we're done. But I'm going to play it out. I want to see exactly how it ends. And I want to tell you explicitly what I get. So that is the second third. Let's see what the final third has. down to the end so let's wrap it up <clears throat> right now I have nutmeg earthy leather earthy black coffee and that's it the finish is leather and black coffee with good lingering black pepper medium full there are no hints of any sweetness this is straight dark notes with nothing else i'm glad i played it out because i want to tell you this and tell you that this is not a good cigar at all 75 for the final third I have no earthly idea what they were thinking when they approved this cigar and this blend. For something called Oro, it conjures up other thoughts of what it might be, but uh, it, it is not going to be that. It is just like I described, and I am shocked that it's this bad. Your overall score somehow got to 81. This is not anything I would recommend to anyone. I don't even think people that like cigars that don't have much sweetness would like this. It's just, it's just not that good. Sometimes you run across this. It's kind of, it's, it, you know, I thought there would be a little bit of a contest between the Platino and the Oro this year, but there was not. The Platino is head and shoulders above this cigar. I like the Platino and the Robusto size. So there you have it. The new Viaje Oro Delicado, the Toro. 